Hey, little kitty, you seem sad. What happened? Kitty, not like mommy, papa. Well, inheriting a parent's strengths isn't possible, little kitty. That's the old theory of evolution given by Jean Baptiste Lamarck. Yes, even though it's old, it surely proposed a new way of looking at life. So in today's episode, let us devolve back in time and answer a groundbreaking question. What is Lamarckism? Zoom in! In the olden days, scholars considered evolution as a natural organic change of species. But no one was able to explain the reasons behind it. Then in the early 1800s, a French naturalist and biologist, Jean-Baptiste Lamarck, took this challenge and developed a plausible mechanism for this change and proposed the very first full-blown theory of evolution in his book, Philosophy Zoologique. Lamarck's theory was based on the principle that all the physical changes occurring in the organisms during its lifetime are inherited by its offspring. Meaning, if a parent is all muscular and bulky, then their kids will be muscular too. He further stated that the reasons for these changes include four main propositions. Let us look at them one by one. First comes change through use and disuse. In this method, Lamarck stated that the more an organism uses a part of its body, the larger and more developed that part will become. For example, the giraffe's ancestors were born with a small neck to eat the lower hanging leaves for food. But the need to eat the top leaves forced the creature to stretch its neck which resulted in a slight elongation of this part over the years. On the other hand, the parts of the organisms that are not used as much will begin to degrade or shrink. For example, the wings of birds like ostrich have become weak due to no use. These changes also serve as a basis for our next principle of inheritance of acquired characters. According to this, whatever changes or characteristics an organism acquired during its lifetime will be inherited by its offspring as well. He explained this with an example of a blacksmith who has strong arms due to the nature of their work. So, according to Lamarck, any children a blacksmith conceives will inherit the development of strong muscles. The third reason for evolution is due to the direct environmental effect over living organisms. It means the organs of an animal show modifications in a way that they respond directly to a changing environment. For example, Ducks used to live on land, but due to the lack of food on land, they were forced to go to water. So to survive there, some web-like structures developed between their toes, helping them to swim effectively. And lastly, Lamarck stated that as the organisms adapted to their surroundings, they became increasingly complex from the simpler forms and believed that life had begun through its spontaneous generation. For a while, Lamarck's ideas were widely accepted by many. But unfortunately, it had many flaws. Yes, today we know that any acquired characteristics like muscles or strong arms like in a blacksmith cannot be passed to the next generation and new organs are not formed in organisms as per their wish. Therefore, this theory was replaced by a more concrete concept proposed by Charles Darwin in his book, 
the origin of species by means of natural selection, a topic we have already covered in detail. So please check it out afterward. Trivia time! Did you know Lamarck's theory of evolution was published in 1802 in research on the organization of living bodies? Then, after some acceptance, he published it in his book, Philosophy Zoologic, in 1809. Hope you have evolved today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Hmm, what happened to you? Did he evolve in the papa? Never mind. <laughs>